name's Jimmy Stewart. Before I came home, I heard a lot of things that made me worry a little as to whether this was still the same America I grew up in. Of course, I wondered when I heard about a couple of crackpots here and there that wanted to make things different. And then I heard from a lot of friends of mine out here in Hollywood about a thing they were all joining, the American Brotherhood of Christians and Jews. So, if it's all right with you, I'd like to have some of these folks out here tell you just why they joined. I will start with Van Johnson. I joined because I'm pretty grateful for the kind of country that gave me my break. And I've learned that all Americans are the same kind of people, no matter what way they want to worship God. Shirley Temple. At school, we were all taught the value of teamwork. Well, good grief, America was built by all of us working together. And our whole future depends on you helping him, and you helping her, and all of us helping each other. I'm for it. Eddie Canner. You know, the most wonderful sound in the world is the laughter of a free people. No tyrant in history ever had a sense of humor or a sense of tolerance. Here in America, we have both. Let's keep them. Let's join the Brotherhood. Waller Pigeon. The history of Hitler and his madmen proves that what starts out as hatred of the Jews or Catholics or any one religious group turns finally into an attack upon all religion. We just have not learned our lesson if we let that start here. Jennifer Jones. One nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's America. And I love America. I know you do too. Catherine Hepburn. Hate is a disease. People who talk hate and people who organize for hate are worse than typhoid carriers. If we want to keep our democracy healthy, we must wipe out this disease. Ingrid Bergman. The American Constitution says that God has endowed men with certain inalienable rights, among which is the freedom of religion. No matter how we worship God, we must grant the same freedom of worship to our fellow man if we are truly religious. And here's Edward G. Robinson, who will read you the pledge. I pledge allegiance to this basic ideal of my country. Fair play for all. I pledge myself to keep America free from the disease of hate that destroyed Europe. In good heart, I pledge unto my fellow Americans all of the rights and the dignities I desire for myself. And to win support for these principles across the land, I join the American Brotherhood. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Won't you join? How about it?